On this trip, we're visiting Montenegro, Albania, Kosovo, and North Macedonia. The crew is Wes Kramer, Joseph Scott, Ben Chepek, myself, and Tino Arena as a guest skater. None of the people on the trip have been to these countries. It's gonna be epic. A region that got divided into eight different countries, more or less. Like, even that number is not totally stabilized yet. So, so yeah, we just wanted to come and see these new countries and, and, and what they had to offer and then how the culture was and just get to know a little bit deeper uh, this region of the world that's a little bit forgotten, at least from a skateboarding point of view. I don't think anybody's ever been to Montenegro skating, uh, at least, like, on a recognized international level. So, so then there's no information, you know, there's no local crew, there's no, so how are you gonna find spots, you know, how do you even know if there's spots? Well, we didn't, so we just ventured out. And then, yeah, we just pretty much got ourselves a driver who barely spoke in English, and we just drive along, you know. When we got to Montenegro, the first people we met were basically the hotel receptionists and she was actually off duty at the time and tried to skate a little bit. Almost fell on her head, but Wes luckily caught her. It's rad. Show some tricks, blow their minds. Hopefully some skaters gonna come out later. skating uh, this little bank ramp um, and the security guard was coming out and it took him like a few hours to kick us out and the first few times he came out he was kind of just looking at us like kind of with this face of indecision like not sure if we were doing something wrong or we were just like little kids playing like he wasn't really sure how to react but um, eventually he tried to kick us out and uh, but it wasn't like he didn't seem to care too much. In Montenegro, we met two skaters, which were like 12 and 13 year old. How long have you been skating for? Two or three years. Really? Oh, that's awesome, man. Yeah. 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 seemed to be like a small town, and we saw all the spots pretty much, so we decided to go to the beach town and hopefully find some more things to skate. Yesterday was fun skating Podgorica and today we're hitting the road, going to Budva, beach town, some cool spots there apparently. Thanks to Patrick Walner for showing us. And yeah, it's gonna be another fun day, I'm sure.
second day of the tour, Benito, he was filming this line, which he wasn't even too psyched on. He didn't feel it was like a, a, a really difficult line, but we were just, we thought, it, we thought it did. We thought it was a cool line, and we also liked it because it showed the majority of the spot that we were skating. Kind of a silly little line, just trying to do something, and I ended up running out. I, don't, I honestly don't really remember what happened, to be honest. It happened like real quick. Yeah, I broke my foot, I broke my toe, I broke my big toe. I wasn't sure that I broke, I mean, it hurt really bad at first, and obviously I was like, kind of acting like a fool, like screaming and whatever, but by taking the sock off and you could see that it was, something wasn't right. So we went to a hospital in Budva, hoping to get an x-ray, hoping to get it all checked out, but it was pretty, and they didn't really do anything. They just kind of looked at the toe and like, oh yeah, <laughs> you need to go to the emergency room for sure. So the closest hospital, uh, that they could recommend me to was an hour in a different direction uh, than where we were staying in Poderica. But so we decided to just cruise back to Poderica and, and check out the emergency room. It was pretty intense, man. It was um, it, it was an interesting experience. It was it was the first time I'd ever been to the hospital outside of my comfort zone, I guess you could call it. Like I've been in Spain to the hospital and in the U.S. and stuff, but um, the energy was thick, dude. There was a lot of gnarly. Um, accidents. Uh, it's cool. It's good. Broke broke the toe, but you broke the toe. Yeah. yeah. Wow. It's all good though. I think it's cool. It's like right above the joint, so like it didn't break the joint. It just like they pop it in. Yeah, they yanked oh, it to yeah. get it straight. Oh, I got yeah. like a hard cast on it. Like this. Damn. This is it. We need to skating. Skating's done for the trip for sure. Hey, for you, hey, Tino. Mastermind <laughs> household items into the perfect crutch. The national dish kachamak is made of potatoes, cheese, and butter. Well, Montenegro turned out to be a really beautiful country, uh, lovely people, so that was cool. So we finished that, we got a great driver who drove us all the way to, to Tirana, right, crossed the border, the border pass was quite smooth, and instantly though, as the moment we crossed the border, we, we, we noticed a big change uh, in infrastructure. The road in Albania was not like the road in Montenegro. Traffic was hectic. Instantly we got into uh, what was supposed to be a two hour drive turned out into being a four hour drive. So we ended up making it to Tirana around 10.30 in the evening at night. Uh, which is not the best time to arrive to a city when you have no locals, no contacts, no guides, no car, no nothing. And it was a Saturday, so next day was gonna be Sunday, so everything was gonna be closed. Apparently Albania has 700,000 bunkers across the country, so we've seen some of them driving by. And when we got into the city of Tirana, we saw instantly that there's more potential for skateboarding. The city is 10 times the size of Podgorica.
after skating around Tirana a little bit, we decided it'd be cool to also check out the skate parks because we wanted to see if there's some skaters. So we went actually to both of the skate parks. There was super awesome, like one of the best sessions I've had yet. Like a bunch of kids showed up and started watching us skating and in the end we're like, all right, take the boards and try it out. Wow, <laughs> skate camp Albania right here. Hyping it up, <laughs> hopefully they keep going. Every kid has just started trying to skate, go down on it, and just, the security guard is telling the kid, no, 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 don't drop in, don't do that. He was just, well, I never experienced like a session coming in hot like that. And in one of the skate parks, there was a guy that actually used to skate. Wes kind of started talking to him, and in the end gave him his board. He probably hasn't skated in years. I'm sure he was happy to meet us, meet us all. Skaters from different countries, some pros coming into town. This is pretty much a homey crew. Wes, Joseph, Myers, and myself. We've probably been traveling for the past decade. Uh, Benito uh, came through. He's been friends with Wes forever, uh, since they're little kids. I've actually known him for a long time. I was considering leaving cause, like, because of the lack of communication with the doctor in, in Polaritza. And everybody was like, no, oh, dude, f you gotta stay. Like, we're in this together, we got you. Like, you're not a, you're not a burden, like, f pushing me up big hills, like, super helpful. But yeah, the homies, without, the, without these guys, like, it'd be pretty much impossible. Good little Albanian football in Duras. That's a selfie world. We just live in it. <laughs> Super fun day in Albania. <laughs> Dores, beach town. Skating, cooling off, and cruising back. Mitrovica is one of the most unique places I have been in my life.